So, you swear this is the last YouTube video. This is it for the night. It's midnight, but man, Mr. Beast just dropped the video. I, I have to watch it. I have to watch it. All right, that was my last video. Let me go. Let me go to sleep finally. But oh man, wait, this new video just came out. Oh come on, I got, I gotta watch the new video, man. All right, this is the last video. I swear. Two hours passed. It's 2 a.m. and you're still doom scrolling on YouTube. Now it's 4 a.m. You have school at 6 a.m. and you just watched a bunch of random videos that have no value and will not make you any better of a person. Okay, I'm gonna fix up my attitude. I'm only gonna watch educational videos from now on. You watch that David Goggins video for 30 minutes. Okay, now now I'm productive. I'm being productive right now. You watch that Hamza video. Oh, there we go, I'm being productive. It's it's a Hamza video, I'm, I'm being productive, guys. You watch this YouTube video. Oh, he's, he's teaching me how to quit my YouTube addiction. So, I mean, I'm watching the video, so that means I'm gonna you know, I'm, I'm learning something. Excuses, excuses, and even more excuses just keep coming by. And next thing you know, you, you're doom scrolling again. You're doing it again. Now the guy I'm talking about is none other than myself. I have had such a bad addiction to YouTube and I've made every excuse in the book. I told myself I was being productive. I told myself that I was gonna miss out on the video. I told myself everything you're probably telling yourself when it comes to YouTube. Now, although YouTube is probably one of the best social medias on the market, it can still be very detrimental to your productivity and your health. After quitting my YouTube addiction, I freed up so much time. I was able to get way more productive sleep. My energy level skyrocketed. I had more time for my family, more time for myself, and so much changed. I now only use YouTube for educational purposes or business purposes, and I actually use them to take action. So I'm not searching up new business ideas. If I come to an obstacle, that's when I'm searching up on YouTube how to fix the obstacle. In this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to quit your YouTube addiction forever. I'm gonna teach you how to time your procrastination, notice your mess ups, and how to trick your algorithm into believing that you're not gonna be on it much longer than 30 minutes. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, so step one, this is actually a very important step, so make sure you have a notebook, make sure you just have a headphone in, treat this video like a podcast. You don't really need to watch the video, do your homework while you're at it. Make sure to listen though, make sure you're taking notes, make sure you're diving deeper into this than just watching the video. Rewatch the video if you need to and rewind if you need to. The first step, and this is probably the most important step, it is to time your procrastination. So what does that mean? Okay, let's say you, you're you about to hop on YouTube and, all right, I have homework, but I'm gonna watch some YouTube real quick. Put a 30 minute timer or a video limit. So what I used to do, I used to put a 30 minute timer. I used to use this method called the Promojo method, and that is currently what I'm using right now, where you put 30 minutes to do work, you're doing deep work, you have your phone on do not disturb, you are grinding, and then 20 to 30 minutes of a complete break, you put everything away, you're playing video games, in this case, you're watching YouTube videos, time your procrastination. If you're going to procrastinate, at least put a timer so that when that timer goes off, you're like, wow, I've procrastinated for 30 minutes. Now you're conscious on your mess up and you're conscious that you're not getting to the actual task or that you're falling into the loophole of doom scrolling. I do this with TikTok too, by the way. Put a timer for everything, especially the bad things. Make sure you're putting a timer, make sure you're setting end times for everything that you do, especially when it comes to your procrastination, because then you're going to notice when it's happening. You're going to be conscious of it all. You're gonna be constantly looking at the timer. Okay, I've got 10 minutes left. That means I get to watch this video. And then after, get to the task. Put a 30 minute task, uh, 30, 30 minute timer for the task that you want to do. So let's say, for example, it's homework. Put a 30 minute task for that essay, but I mean grind that essay, lock in for that essay, go crazy. And then again, put another 30 minute timer, watch your Mr. V's video, watch your regular videos that you usually watch, put a 30 minute timer for that. Now, when it comes to productivity, YouTube is not a productivity app. Don't use that 30 minute timer to educate yourself on YouTube because you're going to end up falling off and watching a funny video or something that's interesting because our brains are just wired that way nowadays. 
you're looking for the next big dopamine. Make sure you avoid feeding your brain that dopamine rush. Now that kind of leads on leads me on to the next thing. Notice your mess ups. The thing that causes doom scrolling is not being conscious that you're doom scrolling. You know, when you're on the toilet and you're doom scrolling for 30 minutes and yo, you've been taking a 30 minute poop. That's insane. You at home, oh, let me just hop on TikTok real quick. Let me hop on YouTube. Let me just wind down real quick. Next thing you know, it's four hours later and you still haven't done your homework. Make sure you are extremely conscious of your mess ups and that is going to be such a vital change in your journey to quitting YouTube and social media as a whole. Once you start to put a conscious effort into stopping the addictions and noticing when you're messing up that is when the the table starts to turn that is when you start to do it less and less and less and the next thing you know you're doing it at nothing at all you're not even doing it at all so make sure you notice your mess ups time your procrastination when you're like all right i have to watch youtube your your, your monkey brain has to watch youtube your dopamine is 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 needed time it time your procrastination time to mess up be conscious of it at least and make sure you're taking note of it i'm not talking about on a physical paper put a mental note that all right 30 minutes that's all i get after that i'm locking in and that doesn't mean that's the last time i'm watching youtube today i'm locking in and then i get to watch youtube again so let me lock in really hard because hey maybe i could finish this homework and then i could watch youtube guilt-free last thing is to make your algorithm boring so my algorithm is those educational videos and it's just those educational videos i am literally just doing that so make your algorithm boring boring make it make it, it like unbearable make it like graham stefan videos and andre jack videos just make your algorithm so boring that you only go on it for education you're like all right i gotta figure this situation out oh okay it's in my recommended make sure your recommended doesn't have anything too entertaining because at the end of the day once you get on that one entertaining video the next one pops up and then the next one pops up and then next thing you know you you hit the road again you hit that four hour doom scroll so make sure you make your algorithm boring on purpose because that is going to help you so much now i can do like the other youtubers and the other videos are doing and recommend you plugins and recommend you different hacks and this and that but let's be honest Nobody actually uses those things. Not even the YouTubers that give you those advices. They don't even use it. I saw a video that was telling me to put my phone in black and white. They don't, at the next video, I saw their phone. It wasn't even black and white. These are the actual tips that I use that actually helped me with my screen time going down. And it actually assisted me in becoming more productive. Just doing these three simple things will change your life. Simple straight to the point that is how you are going to apply this method to quitting youtube and other social medias you don't need to download no plugins no black and white screen nothing like that just use these three simple methods and you're going to see so much results come back to this video in one month and comment your results let me know how you did um and i would love to see other than that guys i hope you guys enjoyed this super short video is pretty much just how to quit your youtube addiction and how i was able to overcome it and yeah, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.